Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights 2. I'm your Game Master Darius. Last we left off, there's a bunch of things that we have like, uh, going and ready to go in this particular episode. But first off, I want to cover a couple of things. One, yes, the UI is slightly bigger uh, in some of the in these cases. I actually uh, have reduced down the resolution some so that I can start rendering in 720 instead of 1080 and this is to preserve my sanity because it's a whole lot of rendering hours and uh a pc can barely take it as it is i swear uh on top of that i haven't gone over the very few mod slash whatever that i actually have going on uh one is the tacho 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 hd ui panels and dialogue that's making it so as we can you know see the dialogue boxes when they pop up. I'm not sure that's going to be all that useful now since, you know, I reduced the resolution, but I digress. Uh, in addition, I am listening. We have been having some sort of a weird issue when it comes to these uh, portraits. So I had downloaded a mod that's simply called NWN Portraits 256 by 400 that's supposed to go with the Tichos HD UI panels and all that fun stuff. On top of that, I again do have yes. the um, remove level adjustment thing that I have for Iggy and all the characters that that'll affect. Um, there's also an FI Big Mods UI thing that I downloaded, but it's not really coming into effect all that much. And finally, I have a mod to make it so as I can shrink in increase the size of the minimap simply called minimap big and bigger it's a pretty simple one but i like it so also uh i was originally here's here's a, a fun thing so i do have a portrait for when i had to use iggy uh way back when in dungeons and dragons during the farland campaign problem is it kind of looks like this i use one of those rpg maker things uh, character makers to make his portrait originally way back when and uh, as much as this kind of clashes with the other character portraits it looks a little bit better and doesn't clash as much which it's more or less just Iggy w without the uh, half plate and the headband of intellect uh, that said though I believe we are going to finally do shit uh, We'll, we'll leave speaking. We have a small laundry list of things to do, mind. Oh, God. Maybe that UI mod isn't good with this one anymore. All right. One moment. <laughs> yep, that didn't go well. Anyway. Your command. I removed the mod thing to improve the size, uh, increase the size of the AI for all that fun stuff. And now, since that's, it's at 16,000 by 900, it's are more appropriate. Also, because I removed that mod, made it so as everyone's icons are squares. Which, all right, I don't mind that much. Anyways, uh, I was going to decide that I was going to not yet do the stuff for the temples and whatnot. Instead, I was going to figure out finally what the hell that mirror thing was. I can't do so going that direction now. Uh, it, it was just a thing with the UI for myself. I typically don't really like it when... It's one of the things I do dislike about most attempts of trying to make it so as older games run on newer consoles or, you know, newer technology. Is because everything ends up being so goddamn small. So I cannot simply go, oh, I'm gonna play freaking... Neverwinter Nights on here, and because there's no enhanced edition, we are left in the hands of modders, which, you know, to their credit, modders are frame freaking fantastic when it comes to, you know, replacing skins and making HD upscaled versions of all the textures in the games, but I can't yet find one to just make the UI a little bit more bigger, like 25% bigger. That's all I need. Anyways, back to the sky mirror.
I say back to the Sky Mirror. I've never been to the Sky Mirror. This is the place. The Sky Mirror is ahead, but there are challenges we must face. The path to the Sky Mirror is a difficult path for anyone not of the Circle to walk. And it is also sealed against any who might accidentally stray near its waters. Both for their protection and those of the Circle. What is the Sky Mirror again? The Sky Mirror is a powerful scrying device, capable of speaking to others who have touched its waters. It takes magic of the land to open the tides of the Sky Mirror. We may need to rest so I can cast the magic required. The challenge changes with every turning of the season, and so do the wards. I won't know the challenges until we come upon them. Anything in these woods we should worry about? You should know that these paths are meant to only be walked with one of the circle. Those that come here without such a guide, this place, it is still filled with those that have wandered into these sacred woods and could not escape. They live still, but only as reflections of themselves. Try to avoid them, but if we cannot, then be prepared to fight. And the Sky Mirror itself has given rise to guardians as well. Creatures of the water. And are you insinuating that we should try stealth? Because, um... The full plate, well, the path plate and the zero bonus from my dexterity score says otherwise. Mention to the way the Sky Mirror is sealed. The Sky Mirror is a powerful scrying device, capable of speaking to others who have touched its waters. It takes magic of the land to open the tide. Yeah, okay, the I think we challenge going. changes with every turning of the sea. Very well. Oh. Being our guide are still a ways from our destination. I bet we are. Old worn trees. I'm gonna check out those old worn trees first, I think. But because I can. Hello, tree. See the old and worn. Embedded in the bark of this tree is a symbol of a massive bull. This tree is one of the challenges. It requires a spell of nature to unlock it. Wait, does it have to be of nature? Because I do have... I remember how I cast the spells to make the peoples fall down. Request. Pulled out the wrong little book. I feel no. Nope. Surface of the tree is only bark now, the symbol gone. I think we unlocked it, but there should be others about. I wonder if you could stumble upon this place. Oh, you know what? The Druidus probably has the ability to cast all these spells. Yes. Um, uh, uh, half wooden and half flesh. Bark skin. We have that prepared. I feel no. The surface of the tree is only bark now. The symbol's gone. I think we unlocked it, but there are others. I wonder how important these all are, because we, uh... Probably are gonna need them spills. As soon as we actually get to the waters. Okay, yeah. So far, I think that's... Let's see, bark skin. Uh, symbol of an owl perched on a high limb. Owl's wisdom. You do not have that prepared. Hoot hoot, mofo. Get rid of the lesser restoration for the owl's wisdom for now. Quick rest. It requires a spell of nature. There we go. And who toot, mofo? No. The first of the trees only bark now. The symbol is gone. To be others about. Really? How many others? Wait. Oh, I missed one back there. Oh, come back for ye. Oh, I missed the very first first one that's like tucked away just underneath the entrance, didn't I? I'm good at video games, folks. 
Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Hello, tree. Uh, nope. This one's already done. This one? Oh. Uh, Leaping Panther. Cat's Grace? That's the only thing that comes to my mind. Rest. I don't... You know, I know that there is, um... Multi-classing in this game. Yes, thank you. I know that there is multi-classing in this game. But like, seeing as so far all of our characters have only been able to single class so far... I feel a little insulted. As you touch the tree, a small piece of bark flakes off and falls into your hand. On the surface in the, is an eclipse... Is an ellipse? with ragged edges as if a lake. What? What's an ellipse? This is it. This is the offering we must make to the sky mirror. Okay. That's all I got is okay. And I know that druids in 5th uh, edition are considered pretty freaking badass. By most accounts. But I can't help but have just a little bit of nostalgia for the uh, spellcasting badassness that was the 3.5 druid. This is the Sky Mirror. Do not stray too close to its waters. They can be a shock to the uninitiated. Give me a moment to center myself, and then I can try to contact the druids of Neverwinter Wood. All it requires is placing this offering within the Sky Mirror's waters, and then we shall wait. Eleni? Child, is that you? Elder Navin? Can you hear me? Yes, child. Where are you? I am touching the waters of the Sky Mirror, but I had thought to contact the druids of Neverwinter Wood, not one of my own circle. I was traveling for the past season, not as long from the mirror as you, perhaps, and only recently have I returned from the Sword Coast. Eleni, who is this? This is Elder Navin, one of my circle. He has been a part of it for almost as long as Vashni and the others, but I did not realize he had left the mayor. He cannot hear you, but I can communicate your questions to him, if you wish. Elder Navin? Why were you traveling? And where are the druids of Neverwinter Wood? My path has been a long one. What I have found, and what I have not, troubles me. Like you, I have had no success in contacting the druids of Neverwinter Wood. I suspect they are avoiding me or have cut themselves off from others. We encountered one in Neverwinter, and he had come in search of one of the Circle of the Mayor, either you or I, but had found no one, not even Elder Vashni. That is troubling news, and part of what drove me here. I returned because I felt something was wrong with the Mayor, and I have not been able to reach any of the other druids. This failing from the Mayor, it is like a black silence stretching through Mare Delane and even seeing through the eyes of animals and birds has proved useless. Elder Navin, we did find one of the Circle of the Mare. Khalil. He was maddened, and we were forced to fight him. What? How did this happen? Elder, I do not know. I fear it is tied to whatever is occurring in the Mare. And he said that our Circle, that it was lost. If so, we may be the only two left. We shall see with our own eyes first. This news of Khalil saddens me. Was there no other way? Elder, Khalil was driven mad. He had slaughtered the animals of Maiden's Glade, tore them apart while he was trapped in the form of a bear. Troubling. It must not have been an easy thing to do. Such an act of mercy, Melanie. Elder Navin, we came here to ask the lore keepers of Neverwinter Wood if they knew anything of what was happening at the mare. And we fear that whatever is occurring in the mare is tied to a set of silver fragments we carry. Silver fragments? Like the one carried by that village boy you were watching? Uh, yes, but he did not carry it. It was hidden near the village, I believe. He retrieved it from the Ilfarn ruins there. Hmm, that is a strange coincidence, but perhaps not. The darkness clouding the mare 
It is familiar in some respects to events that occurred at the time of the discovery of those shards. During the war against the King of Shadows long ago, a similar darkness infested the mare, though not as thick as it is now. Can he have returned? There were many battles fought in the mare and at its borders. One even at West Harbor, Eleni. I must continue onto the mare and try to find what became of Vashni and the others. Even if they are dead, I must see it with my own eyes and see what I can do to find out more about this threat and the shards you speak of. Of course, Elder Naven. Good fortune, Eleni. I know of your vigil, but now we must focus our sight back to where it belongs, on the lands we tend. I... I know, Elder Naven. Forgive me. I will contact you when I know more. I will send a messenger. You will know it when it arrives. Until we meet again, Eleni, beware the shadows. Okay, we are silent. Now that it's reflected in There is nothing more we can do here, I'm afraid. Something is wrong. The spirits are gathering. We must leave at once. We are not welcome here. Kind of assume we weren't welcome here in the first place. I don't know. Paranoia. I'll be your no. Hello. Spirits. Don't mind me. Just, uh... For oh, hi. Water element and a gas. Yeah, nope. Yeah, let's, let's take the gas to an end. Water elementals are an elemental creature. No duh. Um, they have a damage reduction, last I recalled. And an immunity to sneak attacks and criticals. Hello. Ah, shit, have I been paralyzed? Shit, I've been stunned. So one of the reasons that ghasts suck the most is because they have the ability to simply stun someone by a touch. So pretty much all of their attacks are the worst. Okay, that one's dead. That one's injured. Let's go ahead and take care of you. That works. Woo! I'm actually really hoping that these uh, ghasts drop some of their claws, because that is a powerful alchemical thingy, my bib. Investigate the tree. No, it is gone. We have what we need. Just want to make sure. Alright, so are you going to leave for the mayor? Oh. This is what we like to call a quick save moment. Druidus, we have come for you. You have felt us in the land. Now, feel the touch of darkness upon you. This was before Kingdom Hearts, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was before Kingdom Hearts. Charge! Oh, screw you. Priests first. Woo! Nishka! Nishka, 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 please. Thank you. Oh, good crit. God, he is just throwing inflict spells left and right. you been doing back there? Please hit. You know what? That works too. Nope. Stop running. You'll only die tired. By the love of the thunder! Oop. One more. Oh, you got bark skin on. This is what summoned the protectors of the Sky Mirror here. This priest. But the way is hidden. How did he manage to find his way here? We must leave. If we remain, others may come. Well. I'm on the side of if we stay, the others will come. 
in which case we can slay them. I don't know, just me. Scimitar plus two, though. Scroll of Lesser Binding. Hello. Trying shame that is useless for me. Anyone that in the pot party, because they're the ones that currently matter. Yeah, scimitars are really nice, too. Yes. One of the other key reasons, by the way, that I decided to swap out... Boop. Yeah. More attack for you. One of the reasons why I had swapped out the, um, fortress was so that I can tell them apart. Most notably, Mishka and Eleni, because their portraits, their in-game portraits, look basically the same. Well, that wasn't too much of a chore. Just a little side venture that gave us, like, I don't know, half a thou. Let's go back yes. to the travel, travel? Merchant's Quarter, then. One second while I move my recording stuff to the side during loading screens. Waiting for the things to die. There we go. Uh, yeah. Don't you just love waiting for the next time that you should be leveling up? Alright. We have shit to do with the park. But I want to focus on Leldon's hideout first. Now that we know where it is. And uh, see if we can't send a relatively peaceful message. Of leaving my tiefling alone. Thought occurs. Is there a way to see Everyone your character's, um... I don't think there's a way to see how characters are predisposed towards you. No. I think you just gotta do the good things and the hope. Yes. Alright, Leldon, where is your shit? Oh, thanks for rubber banding. How the hell is there rubber banding in this game? Seriously. I'm offline, non-multiplayer. I have no clue how the hell I am still bouncing around the place. Hello. Anything lootable in here? No? Alright. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh. I think they know where we're here. That was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. I think I'd be dead if I didn't have that, um... One... Book... Thing... On. Oh. Good flipping. Sorry. Let us press. Ah. What are you doing over here? You're the fighter. How the hell are you missing so bad? Thank you for the crit. Damn it. Thank you. I seem to be fortunate, fortunate enough in that they seem to be, um, kind of stupid. Come on. First off, do you have any potions I can help you, sir? Alchemist Swire. 
your wounds. Heck. <laughs> ah, shit. Two of them got through. Good crit. Always love a good crit. Where how you missed me is a marvel. Are you power attacking or improve power attacking? No. No. I really don't want to be doing the whole power attacking bit right now. Okay, where the hell is the knockdown skill for you? I know I still gave you knockdown. You do knockdown. Oh. Knockdown. That works. Good crit. He got an attack of opportunity as he was trying to stand up. Take him out. Remember, you get a plus four to hit against prone targets. That's one of the booms of him cast of doing knockdown so much. Yes, he is out of potion, so Kelkar's quite literally carrying us right now. Thank you. Old pieces. Woo! <laughs> uh, I believe the phrase is skin of our teeth. Thank you, Kelgar, for being such a freaking beast. I don't know why they were still hitting Iggy as often as they did. I think it was because he was just flanked on all sides, which... Bleh. Resting! Is this somewhat scummy? Yes. Do I care? No. Your command. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's do this again, this time with feeling. And perhaps without being jumped by like 50 guards. Okay, that time there was absolutely no indicator of a trap. And I think the guards were just seen on the other side there. Oh, here we are. Is that me or is that the thug? Yishka, what are you doing? I'm pretty sure Calico should have activated the noise trap by now. Sure, alright. I... Melanie... Why? You mean to tell me that I can't take any of this stuff? I feel ripped off. You know what? Sure. Yeah, it's nice to actually have the full party attacking alongside me for once. Wait, what's that? Haunted, oh. Well, if we didn't have any stealth to go for us before, we certainly don't now. I'm gonna laugh if all the dialogue options are for attempts of peace and trying to make a uh, make amends and all that fun stuff, and then he just kind of shoots back at us like, "Dude, you just killed all my dudes." Because I mean, yeah, we kind of killed all the dudes. 
excuse us while we take a little nap inside your guys' quarters. Um, robes. Scroll of an large person. Hey, Gelgar, have you always wanted to make it big in the world? Well, now you can. Anyways, uh, ba -ba, if I move this over here a little bit. Move this book over here. Move this a little bit here. There we go. And now let's see what's behind door number two. Alright. Uh, Nishka, if you would be so kind. Thank you. Hello. Who oh, in the nine hells would dare to break into my home? Oh, got the. Oh. Hey. Hey, Leldon. I, I didn't mean to wake you up. I actually, I was just leaving. Nishka. Finally got smart, eh? Come to pay me back? Leldon. <laughs> The thing is... Save your breath. You'll need it to scream. See, with words like that... That doesn't help your case with the neutral good guy. Uh, let's see. Catch her and you die. Yeah, you don't have me outnumbered like last time. So if you want to fight, then come on. We'll carve you into bits. All right, men. You heard the lady. I'll carve you up. Yeah. 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 Bori Comporos. Oh, he made the save. Ass. Well, I guess my dick's, uh, my DC is not that great in the first place, so. Uh, living on mass prayer. You ever... You ever feel a little bit uh, inadequate as a cleric? Just wondering. Finally started casting spells for the baddie, for the big baddie and um... This isn't over. I swear it. Ah, of course. Multiclass ninja. You stupid smoke potions. He always does that when he's lost a fight. The coward. Still, that should have taught him a lesson. He'll never call me goat girl again. Hey, thanks for your help. We'd better get out of here before more of his men show up. Nah, I ain't coming out of this empty-handed. We're looting the place. Do, 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 do. Any traps on any of this? I'm gonna quick save just in case I need to, like, not die. Woo. Money, money, money. What? That cannot have just been a pile of, like, a hundred ish gold a piece. Well, hey, his lucky coin. Cloak of Arachnida. Excuse you? Uh, improved saving throws against poison. Plus two. Spells uh, web. Once per day. Immunity to the web spell. We are giving this to our resident yes. rogue. Why? Well, because her whole thing against having a forged save sucks. But also because, uh, if that re if a uh, yes. if web reduces slash gets rid of the ability to add your dexterity skill or to dexterity modifier to your saving throws or not saving throws, but in the particular case, um, AC, that means that she can just absolutely waylay someone with sneak attacks. Oh, recipe books based on fire. Armor of fire resistance, improved fire resistance, greater fire resistance, flaming weapon. Hell yeah. 
We need a weak fire resistance, a ruby, any weapon. Yeah, flaming is good. Flaming is a good. Well, I'm glad that we resolved this so peacefully. I'm sorry. Why does it... His... We are surrounded by six freaking closets and a goddamn massive chest at the end of his bed and he can't tell me that he has some... doesn't have some sort of loot in it, even if it's just cosmetic. Ass. I suppose if we had... This is just a wild guess, but I'm supposing that if we had simply came in here uh, and stealthed our way through, which was never going to happen. Um, we would have been able to catch him in his sleep and stolen the coin anyways. That's my guess anyways. You know, not bad though. Not a bad haul. Dude's going to be pissed and probably still going to be coming for us, but you know, not a bad haul. Um, that wasn't such a chore. Robes of electrical resistance. Weldon's lucky coin. Oh, hello. This ordinary gold coin has a small hole drilled through the middle. Ah, oh, replaces our... Periaf. I'll need that to cast spells when I can. Actually, wait. We'll be 8th level by the time we're able to cast spells. Or we should be able to simply cast them when we level up, which... Oh, come on. Oh, we still have the... Where was it? Not the park. Tomb of the Betrayers. That was it. Man, has been a busy day for us, isn't it? The Tomb of the Betrayers is down the road. Went in, um, saw the sky mirror. It was pretty gnarly. Went and stole a thing from a dude. That was pretty fun. Nearly TPK'd. Holy shit, Kelgar, though. MVP for this uh, particular situation. Y'all right there, Mel Eleni? Yes. Hi. Eleni. Your command? L. <laughs> Buddy. I am listening. Do not dare be stuck again. <laughs> I beg of you. Let's see. Quick rest. More than likely, we're going to be facing off like a bunch of undead. Because that's how crypts work and when it comes to yes. D. Crypts, tombs, whatever. And apparently we have to promise... Not to loot the place. I did promise that. I don't. Oop. Time for a little fun. Nope. You idiots. <laughs> Take that. I'm not gonna say she deserved it, but she deserved that. Uh, that's merged with stone. That's not turned undead. What? My turn undead go. Why is my. I feel like my goddamn bar keeps on changing every other time I do anything. Turn undead. That works too. Yeah, thanks for the priority of healing yourself and after charging someone dead when you could have just stayed back five feet. Let's see what they're made of. 
those are shadows. I think we've had enough of this one. Shadows are nasty. Uh, they have a touch attack. Touch, which will completely and totally ignore one's AC. They're also paper, paper difficulty to kill. Can't knock down a goddamn shadow, Kelgar. Oh. I bet I should get improved turning. Just ow. I'm just poking. And that's one of the reasons why we're just poking. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> mm. I'm just poking to see just how much of a good guy we really are. Yeah, that's it. Just, just making sure that uh, all that loot is still there, st still in there when we leave. M making sure that Nishka hasn't. Uh, they tried to like make any claim to it. That's that's what we're doing. <sighs> Miska, could you kindly uh, make for this fatal? Oh shit! How can I help? You can be not stuck in a wall and undo the strap. The fact that there's a walk or walking feature in this is fan freaking tastic. I want to point that out. Please do not fail again. Oh, Please stop with the roll lows. Low rolls, rather. Tua. Thank you. Uh, so the other thing about shadows is that is that they are incorporeal. Incorporeal means that they uh, only take half damages, half damage from magical sources. Uh, and if your yes. source of damage is not magic, then you deal none. I think there's some sort of an exception when it comes to like. I think there's some sort of exception when it comes to elemental damages. Thank you. God, I really hope I level up when I come through here. I feel like there's no real good place to put this chat box. Maybe that's just me. Oh, that's mean. There's a chest in there and everything. Maybe after I've... Uh, this is my, uh, the chaotic evil asshole side of me talking, but maybe after I've... Oh, I see. I see. Every single time that someone steps on that, it raises and lowers it. How the hell are we supposed to get in that treasure in the first place, then? Mishka, follow me. Take your sweet time. No need to cross the thing that is obviously a fireball trap. Ooh. I forget whether or not. Uh, 3.5 had it in the first place, but I think that when you fail by a certain amount uh, Traps will just activate Because of course I could be wrong I could also just be thinking of a uh, homebrew rule where if you fail by a certain margin You're just Ball gonna get fireball to the face Fireball to the face fire fireball to the face Negative energy damage. Ow. Where? Oh, there was a trap there. 
I must have made the will save. Everybody, follow me. Did I not set up the NPC AI to protect for? Let's see what they're made of. You know, why do why even have a rogue in the party? We don't need rogues in the party when everyone just starts charging forward really freaking nilly. Who needs rogues? Rogues are useless. I believe I remember someone at some point uh, had commented in the Neverwinter Nights 1 Let's Play. When I had been bitching and moaning about how the... Oh lord. Now, now, come... Really? Let's see what they're made of! Yep, Tarkin concealed. Alright, so stay gathered. Nish Nishka. Nishka. You're the one who should be the most worried. I think you've got the less each least amount of HP in the party. Okay, you're tied with Eleni, but still. Must resist temptation. I'm here for the experience points, not the treasure. I'm here for the experience points, not the treasure. Yes. Here for the experience points, not the treasure. Oh, I think that was already. Yeah. Weak bolt drop. How much experience? We are like ten more kills of All shadows in. away from. Oh, Ooh, that's a problem. Oh no! Oh no! Eleni, if you got a spell, please use it. That's gray spark skin, body of the sun. You know what? Use that. Arx too. The hell did you just do? Kills gas. Kills gas. This is what happens when you don't recognize your own character's capabilities. Did I cast a spell? What did I hell? You know what? It's fine. Also, I just love this action pose from Nishka. Look, look at that shit. That's back of a box worthy. Awesome. Okay, so, you were not diseased, what happened? Resist temptation. Resisting the temptation of being the ba- the- not the bad guy, but... How can I help? <sighs> the terrible, terrible liar. How about not taking loot? Whoop. Yeah. No, it's fine. How can I help? I was trying to click backwards. Well, that seems like it's gonna be the big baddie room, so I think it might be a good idea to check it out around the place first for more ghouls. God damn that great cleave. E and a level up. We end up stepping over a goddamn trap. Oh, hello. Oh, cool. Cool. Would y'all kindly let the rogue out from the front of the party? Or let her die, that's fine. Sorry. I can't help but feel like you could have cast some of these spells a little bit sooner. Felony. 
God, I keep on forgetting what it is that ghasts, ghouls, and whatnot do. I think ghasts were the ones that have a pretty... To sum it up, bad smell about them. So they will, in fact, just simply stun you with their bad smell. I thought that was only troglodytes. I don't know. I might also just be thinking... Wrong edition once again. Anyways. Yeah? Quick level up session for everyone, why not? Y'all deserve it, I guess. You, your stout little bastard of badassness, you are gonna get a plus one to your strength. Uh, more weapon. And taunt. And he get a fighter feat. Rayad. Uh, he is eighth level fighter, that means he can start taking these improved critical feats. Um, these, in three, in table, actual tabletop, I think these are limited based on only fighters can take them. I could be wrong. But I don't think we're going to have him super specialize on a particular weapon. What does it recommend? Dodge. <laughs> Ah yes, dodge. The most boring of all fighter feats. But it's not wrong. Um we are facing against things that are incorporeal. I don't know if that really counts with the blind fight feat. No, because it's technically cover. Screw it. Go dodge simply because I don't know what else to give him. Fighters are kinda limited when it comes to their feats in this in uh this game. I've noticed. Let's see, we'll increase your dexterity. Now, for those that might be more uh, attuned, let's say, for 5th edition, you are not limited on your ability score being uh, a max of 20 in 3.5. This has led to some pretty ridiculous things that can happen. I'm not going to bother with hide into a praise. Because the praise makes it so as we can get better prices. I am listening. All right. Eldruid. Increase that wisdom to an 18. Concentration. Listen. Lore. Spot. Survival. Really not sure what the hell survival really does here. Increases the range of detection. Oh. We're in hostile humanoids, animals, and vermin to mate are made visible. Okay. Now I think, yep. That's more spell slots for her. Uh we'll give her more flame strike. One more flame strike. And for third level. I was kind of hoping for something that would be really helpful against undead. But I guess Call Lightning will have to do. Oh no, Call Lightning. Uh, we're going to do a quick rest, quick save. Yes. And then Iggy. Iggy, my boy. You are not yet able to become a war priest. You are off by literally one level because you need to have 4th level Divine Spells in addition to 8 ranks in Diplomacy and 5 in Spot and a base attack bonus of 5. We've got the base attack bonus of 5 in Spades now. We're going to raise that Wisdom up to a good 14, so now he shall be able to cast 4th level spells regardless of uh, stuff and things. Diplomacy... I guess it was pumping it further into craft weapons. Kind of a weird build, huh? Armor, weapon, diplomacy. <laughs> With only a smattering in spot and a little bit into lore. No feats at this level. So this means next level he will be able to level up as a war priest. And now since his base stack bonus is a six, it's more evident than ever. Quick rest. Actually, wait. 
interrupting the rest because we have spells to prepare. Uh, we'll take light. Because being able to see shit is nice. What was night shield again? Plus one resistance, saving throws. Ah, terrible idea. Yeah, we'll do the night shield. Level two. What's living on death? Physical transformation upon a subject, not unlike the process that produces a zombie. Not actually becoming undead, its vital processes are temporarily bypassed. Subject is not subject to sneak attacks and critical hits for the duration of the spell. That's pretty cool. But the uh, effectee gets a negative four penalty to charisma saves. That's a little bit less good. Um, yes, sound burst. All this does is it causes a burst of sound for one day eight points of damage, and anything in that space must make a saving throw or be stunned for two rounds. No third level spells, but I guess that kind of makes sense. But we got fourth level spells. Oh man, we got options. <laughs> we got options. Uh, a, a say resistance. If I get caster, the spell enables you to you to divine the exact nature of vulnerabilities of a single creature's magic defenses, giving you a plus ten on caster level checks to overcome its spell resistance. See, this makes spell casting viable in my eyes. Castigate. Uh, differs from both the law, chaos, and good evil access. Takes one die four points damage per cast level. All creatures whose alignment differs from yours on one component take only half damage. Okay. Death ward, immunity to any energy drain, negative energy, or death spells, spell like abilities and effects. Dismissal gets rid of a summoned creature, animal companions, and familiars. Divine power for six seconds per level. Gain the following benefits: one extra hit point, plus six to strength, the base attack bonus provided to, by that of a fighter of the same level. Hmm. Create a bitch and spell. Create of movement. Become immune to paralysis, slow and entanglement. No stun effects in this. Importantly enough, I am going to prepare it though. Create a magic weapon. Plus one enhancement bonus per four castle levels. We're effectively eight. Seven, so we only get plus one. Greater resistance, plus three on all saving throws for 24 hours as a bitchin' spell. Hammer of the Gods! You smite a group of enemies with divine light, dealing one die eight points of divine damage for every two caster levels. Woo! Divine damage. Uh, hypothermia. One die six one die six points of cold damage per caster level, and they become fatigued. They can fortitude save for half. Inflict critical wounds, but load of critical damage. Uh, lesser spell mantle creates a barrier that absorbs up to 1d4 plus 4 levels of spells before collapsing. So basically, if you were to take like a magic missile, that's one level worth of spells. Uh, take a fireball, that's three levels worth of spells, so on and so forth. I believe that's how that works. Neutralize poison, removes a poison. Pretty simple. Poison. Gives you poison. <laughs> uh, strength. A uh, strength poison at that. Jeez. Recitation. Uh, for six seconds per level or one round per level. This affects your allies with the spells area at the time moment you cast it. Plus two to AC attack rolls and saving throws or plus three if they worship the same deity as you. I don't think anyone here also worships Lothander. But that is a really damn good spell. Uh, restoration removes all magical, extraordinary, supernatural effects that apply a penalty to ability scores, AC, attack, and damage rolls, spell resistance, saving throws, and damage immunity. This also removes all level drain, which is nasty, blindness, deafness, but not the effects of a curse of disease. Or a disease. Really? Not disease? Hmm. Oh, sorry, buddy. You're still disease. And then summon creature fall. four, yeah, which allows you to summon a dire boar for uh, three rounds plus six rounds per level. 
recitation, I think, is what I'm going to go with here. Now, I believe before... Let's see, where is... Uh, remove disease. Here it is. Level 3 spell. We'll get rid of that for you, Kel uh, Kelgar. Quick rest. Like a poor Kelgar. Still poisoned. Come on, man. Where's that dwarvish fortitude of yours? Glorious. Anyways, we're going to now save and call an episode here. When do we return? Ugh, man. It feels like it's been a while since I've recorded, and that's because it has. Uh, but when we return, we will finish off the Tomb of the Betrayers. And uh, maybe you see who these betrayers are in the long run. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it still. And as always, I hope to see you folks in the next video. Take care. Cheers.